Rick, we are seeing so many things happening under this uh, cancel culture movement. Why are they trying to erase the foundations this country was built upon? Well, they're a threat to evil. <laughs> you know, they were godly foundations. What we have is evil is moving. It's the Isaiah 60. Darkness is covering the earth and deep darkness the people. We're in the Isaiah 5 ultimate depravity where they're calling good evil and evil good, honoring the dishonorable, dishonoring the honorable. And all of this is, you know, has as a major threat is America and the foundations that our government was built upon here. The freedoms that we have are a major threat to evil. And uh, so I, you know, expect that we're going to be under unrelenting attack. And if we don't stand up now, the uh, I believe we're still going to have ultimate victory. But every day we fail to stand up I think that victory is going to be more costly. So, yeah, it's what we see, what the Lord warned about when he spoke at the end of this age, that everything he has He warned about and what the apostles warned about, it's all coming, coming to pass. So now we get to live in this. I think it's the greatest opportunity as well because— you know, you don't see the stars until it gets dark. I think the greatest lights that maybe the earth has ever seen are going to appear now. And that's where in Isaiah 60, when it talks about the darkness covering the earth and deep darkness of people, it then says, but his glory will rise upon you and his glory will appear upon his people. So I think we're starting to see that some of the most remarkable ministries, I think, are just just starting to get started. And, uh, you know, we're going to see some of the most remarkable moves of God, acts of God of all time, I believe, of not just the church age, but of all time in these times. And we get to be here and experience that. But, you know, God kind of likes it when we're outnumbered, <laughs> you know. We always, you know, want to have the majority and all the people with us and everything. But he doesn't seem to like to move until it looks impossible for man. And I think we're getting pretty close to that now. So let's get excited. Let's start looking for his glory. I think we've experienced more of the glory of the Lord in the last few months than ever in my entire history with the Lord since I've been in the Lord. So it's just getting better and better that way.